Menders. <sighs> Yo, baby, I have seven CDs and three jam boxes. What if I wanted to put an equal number of CDs beside each jam box? Six divided by three would equal two. But seven divided by three is two with one left over. The one left over is called a remainder. The way you write the remainder is to put an R before the number that is the remainder. If you divide eight by three, you get an answer of two with a remainder of two. That's because you have two left over when you divide eight by three. So, remainders are just the leftovers, right? Right. And the remainder must always be less than the divisor. If it's not, then you did not divide correctly. Try making your quotient a larger number. Let's do another one. Ten divided by three is... Well, let's think. There is no whole number times three that will equal ten. But three times three equals nine, and nine is just one less than ten. So if we divide ten by three, the quotient is three with a remainder of one. I know a good way to show how remainders work, and learning this may also help you get ready for long division. 17 divided by 3. Step A. What multiplication fact will help you solve 17 divided by 3? 3 times 6 equals 18. 18 is one larger than 17, so 6 won't work. Let's try 5. 3 times 5 is 15. That's two less than 17. Step B. Write a five for the quotient. Step C. Because three times five is 15, next write 15 under 17 and subtract. You get two. Step D. Write the remainder of two near the quotient. Abbreviate remainder of two with an R and a two after it as shown. And remember, in division, the quotient means the answer. Let's do some more problems that may or may not have remainders. All right, my funky feathered friend. Nine divided by two is four remainder of one. Seven divided by
let's work some problems that, hmm, I'm thinking that they may have remainders. Let's see if you can solve them before we do. Listen carefully. If you don't get the problems the first time, keep trying. Rachel had 26 apples and 5 bags. She wanted to put an equal number in each bag. How many apples will go in each bag? The answer is 5, with 1 left over. I know what to do with the remainder. Mario wanted to buy some bubble gum. Each piece cost 6 cents. Mario had 20 cents. How many pieces of gum can he purchase? The answer is 3, and Mario would have 2 cents remaining. Remaining means left over, right? Right. Marvin and David enjoy earning money by mowing lawns. They had nine lawns to care for. Play among themselves. How many lawns did each boy get? The answer is four, with one lawn left for the boys to do together. Sounds like you have a lot of work, boys. Better get busy. Sherry had 30 fortune cookies. She wanted to divide them equally among seven friends. How many fortune cookies does each friend receive? The answer is four, with two left over. Joe and some bags. He put 10 coins in each bag. How many bags did he use? The answer is five bags, and he had three coins left over. As a birthday present, Jill received a small photo album that would hold four photos on each page. The album had 20 pages. Jill had nine photos to put in the album. How many pages would be completely filled? The answer is, two pages would be filled, with one photo left over to go on another page. Notice the fact that the album had 20 pages does not help you solve this problem. Sometimes when working story problems, you will hear information that is not useful. It is your job to decide what is useful. Introduction to Long Division Next, we will work problems using Long Division. We won't learn a lot about Long Division, but you will see what it is. That way, it won't be such a mystery when you learn more about it. Long Division allows you to divide large numbers by writing out your work. Suppose you wanted to divide 63 by 3. First is dividing 60 by 3 because a 6 is in the tens place. 63 is 6 tens and 3 ones. Step A. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we put a 2 above the 6 where the quotient belongs, at the top of the problem. 3 times 2 is 6. Write a 6 under the 6 and subtract. 6 minus 6 is 0. Step C. We bring down the 3, as shown. Step D. 3 divided by 3. Put a 1 in the quotient above the 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Write a 3 under the 3 and subtract. This leaves us with no remainder. The answer, or quotient, is 21. Now,
Three will go into four one time. Put a one in the quotient above the four. Three times one is three. Subtract three from four underneath the problem as shown. One is left over. Step B. We bring the eight down as shown. Now we are dividing 18 by three. What number times three equals 18? Six. Step C. We put a six for the quotient in the tens place. Three times six equals 18. When we subtract 18 from 18, we get zero. The two is left in the ones place. We bring down the two. Step D. Three will not divide into two as a whole number, so in the quotient, we put a zero above the two. Subtracting zero from two still leaves us with two. Two becomes the remainder, and we know what to do with remainders. We put them beside the quotient. The R lets us know that this is the remainder. The answer to 482 divided by three is 160 with a remainder of two. Your teacher may not be ready for you to learn long division until you have more practice with the division facts. The purpose of showing long division now is not to teach you everything you need to know, but rather to let you see what long division is like.